Hello guys this is Shiraz Amazing Videos Review of 2023's MG5 New Car The lowest price point of this brand new vehicle is its most alluring feature, but there are some trade-offs you should be aware of. MG5 Sedan from 2023 Although the new MG5 is among the least expensive vehicles available, it falls short in many important respects. These are 5 things you should be aware of. The drive-away price of the MG5 is a mere, 990. 1. Cost-effective. The entry-level vibe, priced at, 990 drive-away, is one of the most reasonably priced cars available, undercutting competitors like the Mazda 2 and Toyota Yaris. In addition to being significantly less expensive than comparable-sized cars like the Hyundai i30, Kia Cerato, and Toyota Corolla, it is also larger than those. A brushed silver strip across the dash, gloss black diamond inserts, red highlights and stitching, and some carbon fiber-inspired plastic trim, which elevates the atmosphere above the standard gray on gray, all contribute to the car's showroom glitz despite its value focus. 16-inch alloy wheels, smart key entry, and rear parking sensors with a reversing camera are also included. The MG5 is devoid of essential active safety gear. 2. However, you can observe the areas where funds have been reduced. However, if you look closer, it's simple to see where savings have been made. For example, the rear seats cannot be split-folded, so you have to fold it completely or leave it upright. On a hot day, the material that appears to be leather is much stickier under the thighs than the material derived from cows, and it also looks much less convincing. In addition, there are no rear speakers or digital radio tuning, and the ventilation system only has one temperature control zone. At this price range, none are probably going to be deal breakers, but it's still important to consider the exclusions when comparing this product to more costly competitors. Although there are some ostentatious items in the cabin, their quality isn't on par with others in its class. 3. It's fundamental to drive. The 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine only produces 150 newton meters and 84 kilowatts, so it isn't very powerful. The engine is able to unleash its limited power by revving freely thanks to a CVT auto transmission, which isn't as responsive as a traditional auto but still drives the front wheels. Around town, you'll find the throttle pedal somewhat fixed to the ground, creating the effect of a vocal engine. Although we must rev it to keep it moving, we were unable to come close to the stated fuel consumption of 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers, even though the majority of our driving was done in the suburbs. It runs on regular unleaded. In addition, the Kumo tires have some slippage in the rain, however, if you slow down, the basic dynamic equation won't be as problematic. 4. Infotainment has its moments of frustration. Getting around the 10-inch screen requires patience. You can navigate to different menus from the main menu, which features a helmeted MG caricature on the left, by pressing the home button. However, to change the ventilation, you have to press a button to bring up a menu that has slider controls to change the temperature and fan speed as well as virtual buttons to change the air recirculation. It's a cumbersome method of accomplishing the task, particularly with those slider controls that frequently overshoot your intended target. Additionally, the volume up, down buttons lack the sleekness of a dial. 5. Safety gear is missing from it. The majority of the active safety equipment that is now installed by default has not been bothered by MG. Although autonomous emergency braking is now mandated by law, lane assist, blind spot warning, and rear cross traffic alert are not included. Families would probably find the rear seat seatbelt warnings to be most helpful, but they are absent from this entry-level vibe model.